Hey, this is Greta Ray, and you are watching Behind the Song with Out Now. I am going to be talking to you about a song that I wrote uh, in the middle of 2019 with Duncan Boyce called Ready Made, and I released it very recently. Um, I wrote this song when I was on a writing trip in London. I was in the thick of writing new music and working with new collaborators, meeting new writer producers, throwing paint at the wall and seeing what stuck, I guess. Um, and it was a very creatively stimulating time, but I got to thinking about how I was having these very busy creative days wherein I would meet lots of new people and then I would retreat back to the place that I was staying in London. The living room of the space was filled with instruments, lots of different guitars and there was an organ and I kind of thought about that idea of how I was just coming home to the quiet, coming home to just me, coming home to the music. Um, and I kind of feel like I've been retreating back to music my whole life. Um, and yeah, I was just thinking about how much I value, how much I deeply value my private relationship with my creativity, as much as I also love sharing that with other people. Um, so as I was thinking about this concept, I got to thinking about this Lord lyric from her record uh, melodrama. There's this song called Liability, wherein she says, I guess I'll go home into the arms of the girl that I love, the only love I haven't screwed up. And as an artist, like I always interpreted that lyric as, oh, she's talking about retreating back to her creative self and coming back to like the core of her. Um, so yeah, with that lyric and that concept, I took a bus the next day to a writing session with Duncan, who I had never worked with before and was meeting for the first time. And when I was on the bus, I recorded um, the top line for the chorus, the there is never any need into my phone. And that was all that I had. In fact, I don't even know if I had the lyric. Um, went into the session and got to talking with Duncan about, yeah, how I was feeling and how I wanted to write a song that felt like comforting and warm and kind of soft, but at the same time, I wanted it to eventually become quite grand, I suppose, that there's a tendency for me to do that with, you know, this new music of mine. I really love the production to be really lush. Um, so when it came to finishing the production with Robbie Desar in Sydney, uh, we were able to take the ideas from the original demo and then turn it into this ballad that kind of becomes an anthem. Um, there's this beautiful string arrangement by Jonathan Dreyfus. And to me, it just feels like kind of melancholic. It feels very personal. Um, it feels like it has this kind of bitter sweetness to it, I suppose, as well. Um, and overall, it's just an ode to my, you know, one-on-one -on -one relationship with creativity that I've had since I was very little. And I think no matter how, um, you know, collaborative and exciting this career gets, which I love so much, um, you know, the same way that you come back to an empty hotel room after a show with lots of people screaming and your ears are ringing and everything, I will always come back to the core of my creative self where it's just me and the music. So that is the story behind Ready Made. I would love it if you would go and check it out, give it a listen. I hope it makes you feel wonderful and I hope it makes you appreciate and reflect on your relationship with your creativity. Thanks so much for watching.